Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. Drawings are still important to us in SOLIDWORKS 2015. We haven't gone paperless quite yet, but we have some new tools to help us meet our drawing needs. When it comes to drawing notes and balloons, we've got a new style for our leaders called a spline leader. This is very helpful for patent drawings or for just uh, adding a note to somewhere where it's really difficult to reach. These splines are fully editable and very easy to use. When it comes to adding angle dimensions, we no longer have to come in and um, add a construction line. We've got the ability to dimension between a line and a point, and we get these new dimension arrows to tell us you know, which way we want to add the dimension. If we come in and right click on the dimension, we've got the ability to change this over to a, an explementary angle or a vertically opposite angle. Uh, so it makes it very easy to come in and control these dimensions for us. Adding revisions has been streamlined. Now we have to just click on this icon to add a new revision. Let's go in and start adding our zone um, triangles to denote where the changes have, have happened. Uh, it's going to keep track of this on our revision table. And this is all coming from our zone lines. These are defined at the sheet format level. So even if we move this over here, uh, the revision block is going to update automatically. So we can go in and turn that off. We've even got the ability to come in and put in a location label, uh, say on this detail view or on this detail view. It's going to keep track of where the child and parent views are located. And if we come in and move this detail view to sheet 2, it's going to update and keep track of where that's changed to as well. When it comes to rounding of dimensions, this is a 68.25 millimeter. This has been enhanced in 2015. If we go in and edit the document units, we have a few options here. Round halfway away from zero, round half toward zero, round half to even, truncate without rounding. So we're going to come in and use this round half to even option. Gives us a nice 68.2 uh, for our dimension. Now let's look at this side view over here. If we come in and click on it, we've got this new option to open part in position. So this helps uh, put us in the exact same orientation that the drawing view is located with. And we've got the ability to come in and maybe edit this sketch for this whole wizard fairly easily. We're actually going to delete an existing point and come back in and put two new points in. So this is going to mess us up a little bit back at the drawing level. We've actually got a dangling center mark. We can come in and right click on the center mark, reattach it to one of the other circles. And we've also got the ability to right click on the circle there, add the center mark set, and add this extra hole that we've added. Uh, we can even turn on radial lines to show that this is going to uh, indeed you know, act the way it, it should. On our drawings, do we ever have a case where we want certain things to um, not print from our drawing? If we maybe come in and right click on this notes, we're going to change the layer. We actually have a security layer set up. Now let's take a look at what's going on here. This is actually set up to not print the security layer. Uh, so if we look at the file, print preview, sure enough those notes aren't going to show up when we hit print. There's a couple other things that we can do with this drawing. You know, From time to time we may need a drawing view that's off of the, the border. Uh, zoom to fit you know, will actually do that for us, but we've got a new tool, the zoom to sheet. It will zoom in and just show us the, the border area for our title block. Uh, so we're still concerned with creating quality drawings in 2015, but we've made it even easier. So again, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video to be helpful.